Biotech India Presence Users Manual for Easy Installation and Operation of Biotech Plants Floating Dome Model Biogas Plant Important Parts of a Portable Floating Dome Model Biogas Plant Digester Gas Collector Gas Control Valve Inlet Tank with Lid Outlet Pipe Additional Weight for Pressure Control For Water Jacket Models there will be a water jacket. Installation of the plant. Before commencing the installation of the plant, the ground should be leveled. One cubic meter plants can be installed above the ground level. It is better to install the plant in a pit for easy feeding. Larger capacity plants must be installed in a pit. For installing the plant in a pit, first dig the pit. Level the bottom of the pit. Carefully insert the plant in the pit. Verify the level of the plant. It is better to keep 50 to 60 centimeters of the plant above the ground. Connect the inlet tank with lid. Activation of the plant. Fill the digester with biotech culture. Use of biotech culture will accelerate quick fermentation. Keep the level of culture 20 to 30 centimeters below from the top edge of the digester. Cow dung mixture also can be used if biotech culture is not available. Prepare cow dung mixture as per the following instructions. Collect 7 days old cow dung. Mix it with equal quantity of water. Mix properly and remove unwanted particles from the mixture. Fill the digester with cow dung mixture. Fix the gas control valve. Close the gas control valve in the gas collector. Install the gas collector at the top of the digester. Connect the center guide frame of the digester and gas collector together. Prepare soap water solution for leak test. Pour the solution in the joints and top surface of the gas collector to make sure there is no leakage of gas. Fix the additional weight. Connect the gas line in the gas collector. Take the gas line to the kitchen. Assemble the gas stove in proper way. Make sure there is no unwanted slack in the gas line.
Unwanted slags will lead to gas blockage and reduce the gas pressure through the accumulation of moisture. Start initial operation of the plant. Biogas production will start the next day if initial feed is biotech culture. If the initial feed is cow dung, it will take more time for the production of biogas. Biogas production in the initial stage may be delayed if the quality of cow dung is poor. Initial feeding of organic waste may be started only after the production and use of biogas for a minimum period of three days. Start feeding the organic waste after three days use of biogas. Daily operation of the plant. Collect organic waste in a basket. Add organic waste water with it. Mix together and pour into the inlet of the plant once or twice a day. It is most important to keep the quantity of waste fed into the plant only up to the prescribed limit. Remember that excess feeding of waste will lead to malfunctioning of the plant. Remove the treated slurry and use it as organic fertilizer. Keep the gas control valve of the gas collector in the off position if there is no use of gas. Control the flame of the biogas stove below the vessels used for cooking. Clean the burners every day before using the stoves. Make sure there is no deposit of water in the gas line and remove if found. The deposit of water in the gas line will lead to gas blockage. Partial rotation of the gas collector frequently will accelerate the fermentation process. It is very simple to operate a biotech plant. A little attention will provide trouble-free operation of the plant for a longer period. For more details log on to www.biotech-india.org Send your inquiries on mail to biotech at gmail.com